the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 19. The burden of Egypt. Behold, the Lord rides upon a shift crowd, and shall come into Egypt, and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence, and the hearts of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. And the spirit of Egypt shall fire in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof, and they shall seek the idols, and to the charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits, and to the wizards. And the Egyptians will I give over into the hands of a cruel rod, and the fierce king shall rule over them, says the Lord, the Lord of hosts. And the water shall fall from the sea, and the river shall be wasted and dried up. And they shall turn the rivers far away, and the hook of the brooks of defense shall be emptied and dried up, and the reeds and floods shall wither. The paper reeds by the brooks, by the mouth of the brooks, and everything swung by the brooks shall wither, be driven away, and be no more. The fishers also shall mourn. And all they that cast anger into the brook shall lament. They that spread nets upon the waters shall languish. Moreover, they that work in fine flax, and they that weave networks, shall be confounded, and they shall be broken in the purposes thereof. All that makes sluices and ponds for fish. Surely the princes of Zion are fools. The counsel of the wise counselors of Pharaoh is become British. How say ye unto Pharaoh, I am the son of the wise, the son of ancient kings. Where are they? Where are thy wise men? And let them tell thee no, and let them know what the Lord of hosts has purposed upon Egypt. The princes of Zion are become fools. The princes of Nova are deceived. They have also seduced Egypt. Even they that are the stay of the tribes thereof. The Lord has mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof. And they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof. As a drunken man staggers in his vomit. Neither shall there be any work for Egypt, which the head, or tail, branch, or rush may do. In that day shall Egypt be like unto women, and it shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of the Lord of hosts, which he shakes over it. And the land of Judah shall be a teller unto Egypt. Everyone that makes mention thereof shall be afraid in himself, because of the counsel of the Lord of hosts, which he hath determined against it. In that day shall five cities in the land of Egypt speak the language of Canaan, and swear to the Lord of hosts. One shall be called the city of destruction. In that day shall there be an altar to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt and a pillar at the border thereof to the Lord. And it shall be for a sign and for a witness unto the Lord of hosts in the land of Egypt. For they shall cry unto the Lord because of the oppressors, and it shall send them a Savior and a great one, and it shall deliver them. And the Lord shall be known to Egypt, and the Egyptians shall also know the Lord in that sea and shall do sacrifice and oblation. Yea, they shall vow a vow unto the Lord and perform it. And the Lord shall smite Egypt, he shall smite and heal it, and they shall return 
even to the Lord, and he shall be entreated of them, and shall heal them. In that day shall there be a highway out of Egypt to Assyria, and Assyrians shall come out of Egypt, and the Egyptians into Assyria, and the Egyptians shall serve with the Assyrians. In that day shall Israel be the third with Egypt and with Assyria, even a blessing in the midst of the land, whom the Lord of hosts shall bless, saying, Blessed be Egypt, my people, and Assyria the work of my hands, and Egypt mine inheritance.